Okay, so I just went up and checked my cow, and she's down and trying to deliver her placenta, but her ears are really cold, and she's resting her head on the ground. Makes me think that she might have the beginnings of milk fever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to inject subcutaneously this entire bottle of calcium gluconate. It's 500 milliliters, 500 cc's, and I'm going to use a 16 gauge needle and one of these little IV set dealies. It hooks this, you pull the top off, you put that on there, you hang the bottle upside down once you've stuck this under the skin, and you basically just sit there and you let gravity feed it into the, into the side of the cow. I usually put it right behind the shoulder blade on the ribs. Right, so if you're doing this right, obviously it shouldn't be leaking out anywhere, right? It's in, under the skin, and it'll start to fill this area up here with liquid. A lot of times you can hear it, kind of make a squirky, squirky, slurpy sound. It's up against her muscle, I think. Um, so that's what we're after. And if you look at the bottle here, if I get the right angle. Not sure if you can see. See it bubbling? So he, he pulled it down. So see the bubble going? The higher you hold it, the faster it goes. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, there we go. So go ahead and pull that out. Me? Yeah. I'll just put my finger there because it's kind of like a little water balloon right now. We'll rub that. So if you come upon your dairy cow and she's down down, like down won't get up, head pulled over backwards or kind of off to the side and all weird, um, you can give this stuff IV. The best way to give an IV is in here in the jugular, right up in here. I have another video about drawing blood, which using drawing blood and, and giving things via the blood is just kind of the same, same idea. Um, you can give it IV, but you need to be really careful and go very, very slow. It can cause, I believe, like heart attacks. So if your cow is down, you would hold the jug no higher than her back. So it would drip that slowly. Um, and it takes a long time. I don't remember last time. It was maybe an hour we had to do that. It's a long time. It's a long time. So, but you can give it um, IV. It happens much faster. You know, the animal responds much quicker. This is kind of a long term or long, you know, solution by giving it a sub Q. This cow will continue to absorb this uh, calcium for the next day or two. You know, and I don't think she's really having a major problem with uh, milk fever because she's not a humongous producer and I haven't hardly taken any milk from her yet. Um, but of course, you know, tomorrow we're gonna get into the things and start milking for real. And this is just a nice precaution considering she was down. Um, she was being kind of antisocial and her ears were cold. So that's how we do it here. We'll uh, get some milk out of her and then we'll be able to feed the calf tonight.
That's not bad. Half a bottle. He had one and three quarters of a bottle when he was born. And it's, I don't know, what, nine hours later? So, not too bad. Yep. Good boy. Good baby.